clicked the link and it took me to Modair. She has definitely niched down hard when it comes to her content. And after she has the baby, how will her content change? Will it still be all? Are you asking me to show you pictures again? And we forgot. Do you want me to so the little girl asked to see pictures and then forgot about it. But her mom is bringing this back up because she needs it for content. Welcome back to YouTuber Headlines. Thanks for joining me today for the weekly rundown. Yesterday, I posted this video about Jess Bam posting a revealing picture of her young daughter on Instagram. Well, that picture has been taken down. Now, I don't know if Jess removed the picture or if it was flagged so many times Instagram removed it. I don't know, but it's good to hear the picture's been taken down. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll link this video in the cards right here. I started getting messages on Instagram about Milena's son being fully nude on Instagram. A viewer said, Milena's son is fully nude on her Instagram stories and on the reel she shared about having her belly painted today. The video is sped up, but still. On Discord, some girl said she mentioned it to Milena and Milena blocked her for it. Blocked out the poor kid's butt. His genitals were also exposed. That one is her recent reel. She didn't even try blocking it out. And then I asked the viewer, did you blur out the image? The viewer said, yes, I had to blur it. I couldn't believe it. She had both up for hours and blocked me when I told her in the comments that her son was naked. If you're a parent on social media and somehow you post your child nude on social media and a viewer makes you aware of it, why do you get defensive and block the viewer? Why wouldn't you thank the viewer for bringing that to your attention. Mistakes like this just cannot happen. You have got to review your content before you post it on social media. Over on Instagram at YouTuber Headlines, I ask you guys to share a thought, opinion, and I'll pick a few to include in the rundown. A viewer said, I feel like you should somehow mention that you screen paywall is really hard to cancel and how I reached out with no response about canceling you screen on crazy cleaning mama. So a viewer reached out to you screen and tried to cancel her subscription to Crazy Mama Vlogs. She said, I'm trying to cancel a subscription, but when I log into my you screen account, it says it doesn't exist. How do I cancel this? You screen responded. They said, you will need to reach out to Crazy Mama Vlogs directly to cancel your subscription with them. Here's the email address. The viewer said, this feels scammy. I reached out to her with no response. Looks like I'm screwed. The viewer updated me later and said, I had to reach out to support because she didn't respond when I asked her to cancel. Never again will I be nosy. Customer service said they can't cancel, but they went ahead and did it anyways. I'm starting to hear this from viewers more and more. I've had a few people reach out and say, hey, it was difficult to cancel my subscription service. A viewer said, Tara leaked gossip from Ellen at Tatum's birthday, and that's why her and Aaron aren't friends. I definitely think there was a lot of gossiping going on at that party. I don't know if one thing that was said at the birthday party broke up their friendship. I think it was a lot of things that happened over a period of time, and it just all hit the fan. You know, the crap hit the fan, and it just ended. What's Bree's subscriber secret? You guys know Brie recently started the subscription content over on Instagram. She's charging 99 cents per month. She started this when she was in Disney. I covered this in a video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the cards right here. Brie hinted at some news on Instagram. She said, you might have figured out the news, but I'm going to share with all of my subscribers first. And then she posted a link where you can subscribe to her Instagram content. I've been told by several viewers the big news is, are you ready for this? They're getting a kitten and it won't be ready to come home until September, which she said is good because the kids will be back in school then. And so it sounds like her kids are going back to school in Ohio, which we all knew because we all know that her house is for sale in Hawaii. One more viewer question. Will Lex make money on her Instagram live birth? What's she gaining by doing it? No, she won't earn money on the Instagram Live because Instagram Lives are not monetized like YouTube videos are. But I'm sure she's hoping to go viral. I'm sure she's hoping Instagram will push out this live to a large amount of viewers. She'll reach more viewers. She'll get more followers. And in order to make money on social media, you have to grow your following. I think she'll also put up a birth vlog on YouTube because we all know that's the big money maker. 
In one of Tara's most recent vlogs, she shows her address. Out of something, I can order it from my phone. It's so this is a screen recording of her video. When this video was first posted, the blur was not there. So everybody knows her address now. Everybody screenshotted this. Her address is all over social media. Soon after posting her video, she went back and blurred her address. But at that point, it's too late. That's a serious editing mistake right there. If you have a crazy stalker online, you just gave them directions to your house. Some parents on social media are just lazy, they're sloppy, they don't check their work, they make so many mistakes, and these mistakes are serious mistakes. Sharing your address on social media, that's scary. Do you guys remember a while back, she showed her phone in another vlog, and she showed Brooklyn's phone number and five or six other phone numbers in her vlog. She posted the video, viewers let her know that she left their phone numbers in the vlog, then she went back and blurred their phone numbers. But at that point, it's too late. Brooklyn's phone number is all over social media. I don't know if she had to change it. But at that point, it's too late. Everybody screenshots that stuff, and it's everywhere. And if you didn't know already, here's a reminder that social media is fake. Social media is fake. You may know that somewhere in the back of your mind, you've heard it before, but until you really see it, it's hard to process. It's hard to process how people curate their lives and present this image and this highlight reel. And where I think things become really toxic is when we compare our real lives to these very fabricated versions of reality and then we feel less than. Yeah, she articulated that so well. That was the best line in her video. It's so important for YouTube moms to talk about this. It's important for viewers to hear this. And I think a lot of viewers know and understand social media is fake, but some don't, especially the younger generation. And Brittany Vassar just said, people curate their life to present an image online. And that's what you're watching. Every time you open an app on social media, that's exactly what you're watching, a curated version of someone's life. I'm listening to Jessica Simpson's book on Audible, and she said something interesting. She said she was starting to feel detached from her real life because she was performing for the cameras for her reality show. She also said so many people on social media perform their identities on social media. Just remember, the next time you open any social media app and watch someone's life, it's curated content. It's planned, filmed, edited content made specifically to get views and clicks, to keep you watching, and to make money. Thanks for watching this week's rundown. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Make sure to check out some of my previous videos by clicking on these thumbnails. I'll see you soon.